Hey guys, how's it going? It's Shaylee. Um, I just went to see Dr. Kegler and you know, he's a really good doctor. He's a really nice doctor and he's funny, you know, but um, still everybody's saying surgery. <sighs> it's so disheartening to know that there's going to be a lot of pressure for all of this that I'm doing. Um, I got to run back to school and get cooking and get in that kitchen again at the college, so it'll be good. Relieve some stress and make a whole bunch of food sandwiches. I'm on deli today. <laughs> I can't wait for next week to start another station. But some of the emotions that are running through my head are just discouragement and sadness, frustration, and obviously I'm just fucking mad as hell. Like, of all the things that you have to fight of the sickness and life situations and just shit in general like you get fucking mad at being sick you get tired so tired I know you're all out there like nodding your head like yeah <laughs> if I could give this up right now I would give it up in a heartbeat <laughs> but I guess that's not how it really works right we gotta fight and struggle and get through it like every day that we do I just want to say though that prayer for me it's like Jesus has always been that guy for me you know like my best friend my buddy and no matter how lone you are he was always just the one to be there for me and give me that hope and something to um, focus on rather than my own sadness or pain at the moment and I, I appreciate that there's a God like that that can be there that much now my family still doesn't know. I told one auntie, I told my girlfriend, and I told like my best friend. We've known each other for years, like eight years I think. She's like my sister though. <laughs> but I don't want this to be a dramatic thing, right? Obviously I don't want everyone falling apart being like, oh my god, you're gonna die. <laughs> I don't need that. I got enough bullshit to deal with than somebody freaking out over this. And I think a lot of doctors don't like me, maybe because I'm not scared. I'm not mean to them, I'm not rude to them. I haven't like cussed them out or given them a mad to do anything. I just usually have questions and I do question everything that tends to be my personality, which I think everybody should. But I go with my gut, I go with my instinct and that's what I know and that's what I do. So that's what I've been doing. I don't know where to look on this camera where it won't look weird. I'm like looking at myself, looking at you guys, looking at myself. <laughs> but I'm gonna go talk to my chefs. I'm gonna go see what they can do. I don't, my student loans haven't come in. Oh my gosh, I'm just sweating all over the place. It is a hot mess. I am supposed to get surgery. My student loans are in. I have no money. I'm owing rent. Lord, I gotta, gotta pray a bit harder. <laughs> but I'm gonna keep my head up. Cancer doesn't scare me. I think that's what pisses them off. I'm not scared. But, gotta keep a good attitude and I'm gonna follow a diet and nutrition and juicing and just bite my tongue and reach out for help and put my pride aside because I gotta stick around for my little stinker. Alright, much love and respect and just keep your heads up and, you know, don't stress as much as possible. So. Mwah. Cheers!